Attention please. This uploading is only for educational purpose. No intention to infringe copyrights. Learning English with subtitles. G Patrol. Follow us. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Well, Veronica wanted a sort of boutique hotel look in here. Yeah. And this is absolutely spot on. It's very St. Martin's Lane, isn't it? Isn't it? It's really stunning. And the up lighting, again, just gives another whole layer of light in the room. Because they've only got pendant so lights everywhere. So, did you get this made specially? Or we did, did. We did. It's been made properly and lacquered. Yeah. Um, but again, it's, it's quite a straightforward build with lights inset. Stunning. It's really beautiful. Mm. And what colour linen are you going for? You going to... We have got, again, to carry on the sort of hotel theme, we've yeah. just got blankets um, and we've got creams and we've got beiges. Again, just to sort of tone down the purples a little bit. It's going to be gorgeous. I hope so. The headboard was specially made from MDF with a lacquer finish. It's got inbuilt side and up lights and costs £1,200. Okay. Yeah. Isn't the blind gorgeous? It's really nice. It's a corduroy, so again, very masculine. Corduroy. Corduroy. So don't you go saying 70s again. Well, corduroy and your zebra thing, or whatever it is. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Nice. It's good. It's good. It's good. Uh, your choice. Of course. <laughs> don't sound so surprised. No, 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 I didn't know. But, uh... That doesn't look like it's covering too badly. Not too bad. It is a bit thin, though. The paint is a bit thin. Oh, no. I don't know why. I'm trying to put on a light, so... <laughs> You're putting more on you. Seeing your glasses. <laughs> you won't be able to see anything soon. Well. Yeah. <laughs> and now for a painting tip. Okay. Great. So do you want to use your paintbrush and you want to go off for a tip, quick tea break? <coughs> wrap your paintbrush in clean film and put it into a plastic bag and wrap it up so it'll never dry out. You can go and do it overnight as well. And then he's sorted to carry on the next day. Top tip. That is a nifty top tip. <laughs> the lazy painter. So we are now nearly 19 minutes into the makeover, and goodness knows what they'll make of that. It's from one of the stripes in Paul's bedroom. Like a little pop star Hello. sitting in there, aren't you? <laughs> okay. Oh, Some you oxygen. You're right. <laughs> what do you think of that? Nice. Um, I like it. Do you? Yeah, I do actually. But not for the house, no. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think it's all? Well, look, it's his favourite colour. Piece of wood, yeah. It's quite an earthy colour. Yeah, it looks like it's quite a soil colour, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> More like mud. Very, that is very muddy. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a kind of yes for the brown, but what will they make of this? Oh. Yeah. Oh. You don't I don't like, like that. that. Do you like that? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I don't, no. I don't understand what, what you're, is that? What you're is that a lampshade it's or a lamp something? It's a lampshade. It might look nice with the light in it. Yeah. It just looks horrible to me. It's very 60s. <laughs> it's very 60s, like yeah, it's very 60s. Like it. I don't like dated. that. Yeah, I don't. You are very ahead of the game. I challenge you to get go this on, room done before tea break. Tempt me. Tempt me. You've got seven minutes. We're good, but we're not so that good. good. Out in the van, Julia's sorting out the lounge furniture. This is the most amazing modular furniture. Modular furniture? Yeah, there's lots of different shapes and you can build it into different styles and it's great for lounging about on. It's really, really cool stuff. Okay, but one query. Yeah. They don't like bright colours. They want neutral creams, beiges, browns. Okay, right, wait for this then. This is what goes with it. <laughs> Don't you think that's great? I party, th think party. I think they're going to hate you. These are the wrong way round. This oak veneer bed should match the funky feel of Veronica's new hotel suite style bedroom. How can they be the wrong way round? They're the same. However, room service will have to get their act together first. Ooh. Who put this together? You did. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't me. Right, let's see if we can't get this painting finished before tea. This is quite OK, isn't it? It's not so bad. It's, yeah. it's better than I thought it was going to be, John, but yeah. That looks OK, yeah. Oh, it's a bit cool. As well as the modular furniture, the lounge is getting a cornflower blue sofa and chair. 
and there's no escape from the orange. That'll come with the cushions. Look, a bedroom is happening. Right. Problems? Or are we all happy? Let's all go! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to see. Right. Ooh, good. It's happening. Very good. In Veronica's room, the bed's from Ikea. It costs £135. <laughs> this laminate steel sheet has been made up by a specialist kitchen workshop. So where is this going? This is going across the back wall to cover the old tiles up. It's really easy and cheap to do. Save removing all those old tiles because it makes a hell of a mess. Oh, well, you better crack on because... <laughs> OK, Ian. Um, I'm just about quick, to blow quick. the whistle for tea break. Put that in here. Here we go. There. That's tea break, guys. This room is nearly finished. I can't believe it. There aren't prizes, you know, for finishing a movie. Oh, there are. <laughs> Julia's right. The progress is dramatic. In the lounge, all the paintwork has been finished. Veronica's room is just missing the new storage units. And Paul's room's missing the bed. and the kitchen diner's half finished. So, missus, I went yeah. out to see our friends. Oh, yes. And they liked the brown. They all hated the which? The orange lampshade. Oh, dear. Was it the fact that it's orange or just hated the lemon shade? Um, I couldn't work it out. Actually, it was just a negative response generally. Oh, but saying that, I mean, the, Beverly did say, well, you know, maybe when it's lit and within context of the room, it might look different. Good old Beverly. <laughs> <laughs> we like Beverly. <laughs> well, yes, I do hope that's the case. Um, as I say, I've taken a, a bit of a punt on this one and I've yeah. sort of pushed the boundaries a little bit, but uh, I think they're going to like it. We are halfway through the makeover now. Things are going really well, but guys, that is tea break over. <laughs> okay, guys, in you go. The makeover is back on track. We are now halfway through the makeover, just 30 minutes left, and things are coming on well. Kitchen's nearly done, front room is practically finished, but we've got no time to waste, have we, boys? Hey, come on. Today we've been making over this three-bedroom Edwardian house in North London. Boys, little observation. Huge yeah. gap. What are you going to do? We're just having a little debate where on what to do. Whether we go flat like that, yeah. or angled up to the wall like that. Which do you think? I think the angle. We go angled then. Yeah. Let's get on with it. I think the angle. Right. Remember the wet paint. In the lounge, Julia's decided to keep their own mirror as part of the design. But there's a new one for Paul's room, which is stuck on. Looks nice, doesn't it? Very nice. You know, the reason why we did this was because when you have a chimney breast in a room, yeah. and you're not actually using the fireplace, you end up with a really, it looks very, very bitty, and you end up with wardrobe sticking out. So we've got this really lovely flush finish running all the way through. So you've got a wardrobe at the end, mirror and storage in the bottom. Wait a minute, where's the wardrobe? In here. Look, show me. Okay, have you got a long wardrobe as well? Oh. No, that's just panelling, so this is where the chimney breast is. They've got storage here and then a desk for, for him on the end. Okay. They're still fixing it. Don't wobble it too much. Sorry. <laughs> okay, just leave, leave that all there for the minute and I can put it in position. There should be some little flowers and they're going either side of the bed. And those small tea lights are going either side of the bed as well. Okay. The accessories and this plum and white bed linen are all designed to complement the amethyst colour scheme. Hold your end still. That's it. Do you know what we're going to do? Rather than just putting it square on in the room, we're going to put it at an angle. The bed? Yeah. Makes the room interesting. That drives me mad. Why? To have a bed at an angle. It drives me mad. 
Well, hopefully Paul will like it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll add some shape to the room. I'm sure Paul's not interested in what I think about the position of his bed anyway, so... Not in the kitchen, most of the freestanding units are in, and there's a chrome shelf for storage and hanging pots and pans. Now, guys, I predicted right in tea break that this room would be complete and finished. But we've been raised. The odds have been raising us. We weren't going to Ten minutes before. after the tea break, yeah? They weren't going to repaint this area, but now there's time. So that's so you won't get complacent, isn't it? Uh, I suppose hey? so. I suppose you so. You would have been done. <laughs> Carol, you've got more paint in your hair than on the brush, love. I know it looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right, so you've got the boiler housing going in now. Yeah. Yeah, we've just got a little bit of scribing in over here, Julie, just yeah. to get it nice and snug up to the wall. Okay. And then that's all done. This is a really great idea if you've got a really ugly boiler and you can't afford to get it changed. If you get a chippy to make up an MDF cover for it, a couple of doors on the front, it bobs your ankle. It hides all of the rubbish behind it. That's going to look really neat. Yeah. Good. But like us, make sure the boiler has adequate ventilation. Now, whose job is it going to be to assemble these? <laughs> would you like a job? You do say, if I would like you to do something, I should just ask you. I couldn't even do the Rubik's Cube when I was a kid without <laughs> doing this. This lies down flat first. Oh, it goes flat on the floor? Yeah. Then this lies on top of it flat. <laughs> then that sits in front of it. Oh, do they go together? The orange yeah. and the blue? Yeah. Show me. <laughs> so this needs to okay. open out flat. Cool. Yeah. Right, orange... <laughs> That's it, that's the right way up. The okay. orange one goes underneath it. Underneath the blue. So there's the orange flat. Yeah, right, that goes on top of it. Okay. Yeah, like that. Okay, then. Oh, fine. <sighs> oh, so it's a sofa. Yeah. Okay, now what happens? Uh, box sits behind it. And then these sort of sit, I think. Oh, gosh, I don't know. I think something like that. So this is behind you know it. What? I'm not altogether sure. Would this go on the end here like this? That... Looks good to me. I'm going to get Flossy to come and sort it out, I think. Yeah, please do. These silver Venetian blinds will reflect the light back into the diner and match the stainless steel of the shelves and the kitchen surfaces. Beautiful. Wow, that looks great. The fridge freezer has a similar sheen to it and has a mark-resistant coating, which is probably just as well. These are nice, Claire. They're perforated blinds. Can you see? Yes. So they allow a lot of the light to come through. That's not sexy. That's a good oven. It's very nice. With seven rings, including one for a wok, this new cooker is ideal for large family gatherings. Veronica's new wardrobe is in place and carefully chosen greenery adds that extra touch of class. <laughs> Turn your one that way, all the way around. A bit, a bit more. It's not standing up straight, that stick's not straight. That's the reason why it's looking funny. You've got a fluffy one there. <laughs> You've got a hoover. Oh, We've got, got a hoover in here. This is absolutely disgusting. Right, pictures. Uh, yeah. That looks nice. Oh, sorry. Ooh. That's very cool. OK. One of the things the family wanted was a large dining table to accommodate the whole clan when they come calling. We've got them this high-gloss lacquer table, which fits in perfectly with the long, narrow dimensions of the diner. You know what you said about the height of that shelf? Yeah. And I said I wanted it below the height of the headboard? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you passing the buck now? That shelf! That <laughs> shelf, yeah. It's 43. <laughs> Not 48. Oh, yeah. That's never five inches. Who measured it up to 48? <laughs> Shall we uh, try and pull that end round? Yep. yep. There should be a desk chair somewhere as well. That's just out there. Great. Oh, my, it's OK. <laughs> 
I think we might just well, get away with it if they push it back a bit. Okay. Got me, uh, push it right in. Yeah, it's got to go right.